Hello, my name is Roy Williams. I'm with Airframe Components. Today our topic of discussion is Beechcraft Service Communique 313, specifically addressing the nose ribs on the Beechcraft flaps. These flaps are found on the Bonanza and Baron style aircraft. Uh, they apply to both the small flap and the large cord flap. I have two different flaps here for uh, inspection today. We have the larger cord flap found on the early Barons, 55s and 58s, and then the small cord flap found on the later style, 55 and 58 Barons, as well as all your 33, 35, and 36 Bonanzas. Uh, these are easily identified by the outboard portion. This 45 degree bevel here at the treading edge will determine uh, that this is a large cord flap versus a small cord flap. Beechcraft Service Communique 313 applies to both styles of flap, both the small flaps and the large flaps. Everything from the spar line forward is the same on both flaps, so this applies to both areas uh, depending, no matter what style of uh, aircraft you have. Specifically, Beechcraft Ser Service Communique 313 addresses the area in the flap actuator bracket and rib underlying the skin. The problem with these ribs is they have a tendency to crack at the very forward edge of the rib. And you can see on this particular flap here, this one has started to crack. You can see discoloration coming out from underneath the actuator bracket. That will be your first indication of cracking in the rib underlying the skin. If allowed to progress, the crack in the skin then will develop to full failure of the nose rib, allowing the skin to fail and the rib underneath to fail, which will result in catastrophic failure of the flap actuator bracket. Inspection of the nose rib is very easily accomplished at the flap inboard flap actuator arms. The patch plate can be removed, just a simple flashlight inspecting through that hole to the nose rib underneath will tell you if there is a crack in the nose rib itself. Uh, there's no special equipment needed, no bore scope, no special video equipment, just a simple flashlight. Uh, you can look in directly at the rib to see if there's any cracks. The original style nose rib has a relief cutout in the very front of it, and you can see this is where the crack tends to emanate from on these ribs. There is a single thickness of material here. The relief cut used in the forming of the rib at the factory is uh, the weak point on this rib and this is where the crack will tend to start. You can see the crack starting to come out of that relief cut. Beechcraft has a new style of rib now that is solid around the leading edge of the rib and then it has a doubler plate riveted to it as well providing two thicknesses of material for extra strength for the nose rib. Once the flap is received at our facility, we then open up the flap, uh, giving us access to the inboard trailing edge corner of the flap, and then replacing the damaged rib with the new upgraded rib.